Hi my name is Matt, welcome back to the shop and today I'm doing more of an engineering, well that engineering, machining kind of um, subject. We're going to start rolling some of these into the theory stuff as well. Now, um, if you watched people like Keith Fenner, um, A-Bomb, you know, Adam Booth, uh, Tom Lipton and stuff, um, Mr. Pete 222, uh, Myford Boy, and Americans keep on saying My Ford Boy, it's Myford, Myford is a lathe that was built in Sheffield I think. Um, so it's Myford Boy, the guy who does all the castings. Um, if you watch their videos and all the rest of it, they will show you how to cut threads, they'll show you how to do single point thread cutting. Uh, A-Bomb's done some thread chasing before, stuff like that. And uh, they've also done internal threads, Acme threads, uh, two start threads, Mr. Pete did the two start, three start, four start threads, so on and so forth. But someone asked me something recently which I don't believe has actually been covered and it may it might be the fact that it's just so basic that it's taken for granted and what we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about uh, very quickly about actually cutting threads um, but more about the geometry so V threads for um, so UNF and UNC so they're United, uh, United National Coarse and Fine and then in the ISO system, the metric system we have Coarse and Fine for some threads and not others um, and they're just the standard, you can deviate from metric from the actual threads. Uh, there's loads of threads in between, they just don't list them as standards. Um, so what I want to talk about is that the compound, so if you're unfamiliar with layers, the compound, the compound rest is basically, um, and it's where your tool post sits on top of, and that's an adjustable, uh, it has an adjustable travel, um, so you can do tapers and you know all these other things, and so you can do cones and what have you. Um, but when you cut, do single point threads, and this is the que what started this off, if someone asked me this question, is uh, generally when you do single point threads, um, external ones especially, you uh, rotate your compound to 30 degrees. So you'll have your bed from above like this, so you'll have your ways, and then you'll have your cross slide, your apron, uh, or your, your carriage, sorry, and then you'll have your compound sat here with your tool post on top, you'll have your little wheel here like this and you'll set this to 30 degrees so you'll set this to 30 degrees like so and I was asked why is it set to 30 degrees why do you always set your compound to 30 degrees the, the thread the, the, v, the V thread is a 60 degree um, for um, United National and ISO so, and that's the, the inclusive angle of the cutting tool so if we look at this thread here this is 60 degrees and down the centre line, obviously that's 30 because it's half of it. Um, so the inclusive angle, including both sides of this um, parallel line, is 60 degrees. But why do we set this at 30? And like I say, as far as I can remember, no one's actually no one's actually pointed that out. The reason why is we have to look at um, how cutting tools actually cut. And here I've got a SEM uh, picture a video, which is a uh, scan electron microscope. And you can see how this tool um, actually cuts away at the material. It basically it compresses it and then causes it to shear. And then shear is basically just a, a sliding, a, a, basically a sliding fracture, a sliding fracture. And all tools have to do that. And the pressure on the tool, the actual cutting surface, um, the tool pressure, it is very important because if you don't, if you if you don't, um, if you rub two surfaces together, you get rub, not cutting. So let's just say we've just started our thread cutting and we've just taken a little pass. So we've turned this shaft down and obviously there's this the mirror image of that so we'll just do the centre line of the shaft. So you've got your centre line of your shaft like so and you've just taken this nibble and then you get your thread gauge out, your pitch gauge and then you measure here um, just as a safety check to make sure that you're happy that, that you've selected the right gearing for your lathe so your lead screw um, you know your lead screw and your feed screw and all, every, basically everything's just sorted out and then what you want to do is um, when you actually do this cut the tool that you're cutting with so say if it's an insert is actually just plunging into the metal so it is cutting on both sides of the tool now this is quite a lot of tool pressure as much as the tool is touching uh, the actual material, it's all cutting away. Now, 
what we do with thread cutting is actually is when you cut the next thread or when you take your next pass sorry you cut like this so it's on one flank of that triangle and then you take another cut and another cut and another cut and you take another cut until you meet up with the uh, the trailing edge of the original thread that you cut and the reason why you do this is to reduce reduce tool pressure so you're only cutting on this side you're only chiseling away on one side of the tool and that's the tool that's being fed in um, the back side of the tool is basically just rubbing, it's, it's, it's not cutting at all. And every time you take a cut, it's only cutting, it's only rubbing on this section here where the cutting chiselling surface is a lot greater. And obviously you're feeding in that direction, so basically it stops chatter um, and it reduces the tool pressure, it increases the tool pressure, should I say, on the flank that you are cutting, that you are feeding into. The back side of it, it's just like the flutes on the side of a drill. The flutes on the side of a drill do not cut, it's just the chiselling uh, tip of the drill and the flutes are there just to remove material. Um, so this is why we set the compound to 30 degrees because this angle here, this angle is 30 degrees. You see, if we didn't set the compound to 30 degrees and just kept it parallel with the ways, then when you cut your thread, if we just get rid of that a bit so it's a bit clearer when you have your thread like this all you do is you'll be ploughing in like this so in a sense it'd be more like a parting tool than anything else you're just ploughing in and there's then when you get right to the root of your thread there's an awful lot of uh, rubbing contact surface area there on both sides of the tool so instead we progress inwards instead of just plunging inwards so I hope that makes sense it's something that um, you know s someone asked me and it you know, it's kind of one of the, these things that machinists take for granted that everyone, you know, oh well of course you said it's 30 degrees. Yes, but why? And this is why. So I hope that made sense and I'll see you in a bit.